the shore. It looked pretty bad in that video. It was actually worse a little bit earlier. But everybody stayed calm. Everybody listened to me, and we got through it. A man from Florida learns his lesson the weather in Maine can change in minutes. You might remember it from last week. He shot this video of the very stormy conditions that swiftly moved in on Sebago Lake. And while that man and his passengers got lucky, it is a reminder the conditions on the water can be dangerous, even deadly. Now that's right, Steve. WMTW News 8's Jim Keithley is live along the causeway in Naples tonight with his story and some safety tips from the warden service. Jim. Well, Tracy and Steve, you talk to any avid boater, and they will tell you that Maine lakes can be as harsh as the open ocean, especially during a storm, and that includes white caps and all. Now, Tom O'Brien is from St. Augustine, Florida. He knows the ocean and the lakes, but last Wednesday he battled a Maine thunderstorm and almost ended in tragedy. The weather came on us really quickly, very quickly, and it was, uh, I mean, like in a snap. In a snap. Tom O'Brien is reliving last Wednesday afternoon. He and six family members on a 25 foot pontoon boat on Sobago Lake. They were in an area near Fry's Leap when a storm rolled through. If I would have turned and went towards shore, the boat would have rolled. I'm 100% positive of that. So you had to stay either with the waves to you or the waves behind you and kind of surf the boat on the waves and then deal with them as it goes, comes down. That's what I was doing, and I picked my closest possibility to shore without roll, rolling the boat. He got everybody in the back of the boat, he stayed calm, and he managed to ride out the storm and eventually managed to maneuver the boat to shore. Sebago Lake can be the ocean. Today, Eddie Gutierrez and his family headed in early after clouds rolled in. He knows all about Maine weather and what it can mean on the lake. Have you been out there when it's, you know, when you get the, the thunder boom? It's, it's, it's a lot, it's different than being on land. And yeah, it gets your attention real quick. It's like, I, I need to go home and get to safety, you know what I'm saying? And now Floridian Tom O'Brien knows that Mother Nature in Maine isn't someone to mess with. Looking at it now, it's, it scares me more than it did while I was there. I really wasn't scared. I was more concerned for the passengers. Now I look at it and go, well, is that crazy? What happened here? It just came on so fast. The Maine Warden Service says the top three things boaters should do, monitor the weather reports, have safety devices, including cell phones and radios on board, and know your limitations. O'Brien says he did learn a lesson when it comes to boating in Maine. I got the weather channel on my phone for this area. Right, we're back live. This is Long Lake. You can see this is pretty calm right now, but the clouds have rolled in, and who knows what's headed our way here. O'Brien well, says he has already been back out on that boat, by the way, and the Maine Warden Service tells me that some Maine lakes are so big that if you're in the middle, it's actually literally miles before you could get to shore. So it's very important to know what's happening with the weather. We're live in Naples tonight. Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.